We simply can't afford to gamble with their health or with their futures. Freshman and Congressman Josh Gottheimer calls it a bipartisan priority. It's not Democrat or Republican. Clean water, clean drinking water is a fifth district issue, it's an American issue, and it's a mom and dad issue. Gottheimer cited statistics and reports of elevated lead levels in drinking water across New Jersey and America and says he wants to drain the nation's schools of lead in drinking water in pipes. He's proposing the Lead-Free Schools Act with striking similarities to safe drinking water legislation Congressman Frank Pallone introduced last year and reintroduced this year. Gottheimer says his bill would do three things. One, it will test our schools for lead in the drinking water. My bill increases the resources available to our schools to help testing. Two. My legislation will require that school districts via the state, via all states, report annually on a user-friendly website the status and outcome of lead water testing in their schools. And three. My bill creates a targeted pilot program through existing resources to improve drinking water infrastructure in schools where there's lead in the water. I'm hoping these resources will help more schools jumpstart their programs to replace fountains, faucets, drinking fountain nozzles and fountain infrastructure and prevent lead from seeping into a school's water supply. Clean water advocates say the bill would take the worry out of drinking from school fountains. When it comes to the problem of lead in our drinking water, <laughs> we need more funding. We need more protections, not less. Lead doesn't have any useful purpose in the body, in the biological systems. Therefore, you would say, anything above zero lead is excessive exposure. We may not be able to get it down to zero, but we should be trying hard to move it in that direction. This Northville school was built in 69, about two decades before Congress banned lead in public water supplies. Gottheimer says this school replaced its fountains and added filters to produce lead-free results. The congressman says this district exemplifies how to handle concerns of lead in the drinking water. But here's the challenge. Not every school has been able to take the steps that they have been able to, that they've taken here. And I don't want any parent here in Burton County, in the 5th District, our state, or across our country, for that matter, to have to worry if the water in their child's drinks are chock full of lead. Godheimer says that's what motivates his bill. In Northvale, Michael Hill, NJTV News.